I'm doing something today that I don't do very often. I don't even, I don't even know how to do this. I'm not very good at uh, asking for help. But today, I'm asking for help. Most of you, or many of you, uh, particularly in North America, and I know a lot of you here in, in Ecuador know who Mark Bradbury is. Mark Bradbury is the founder of the Facebook page, the Friends and Amigos from Monte Montebi. Tremendous resource for help for people that want to come to Ecuador and whether you come for a visit or come in here to settle in or just do an exploratory or whatever, like to take advantage of the resources that Mark provides on that Facebook page. Several months ago I did an interview with Mark and uh, I will put the link to that interview in the description below. But today we're asking for help from Mark's family. Mark has taken a turn for uh, the worse in regards to his health. He had a, uh, earlier in the year they discovered that he had a tumor in one of his kidneys. They removed the kidney and he has been in critical condition in Soka Hospital in Puerto Viejo now for uh, going on four weeks now. And the the prognosis is not the best in the world for him right now, but we're trying to be as positive as we can and doing this one day at a time. In the meantime, Irina and Barbara, his daughter, and Irina's daughter, Natasha, are basically helpless and they need, they, they need help. We need to help feed them. We need to give them money so that they can pay the rent. We need to um, prepare them for what can possibly happen here in the very near future. There will be a lot of changes in their life that they'll have to deal with, and that's gonna take a little bit of, uh, of help from all of us, okay? I'm going to, we're asking for donations. I'm working with Marcos from Equisys, and we are working on a plan to uh, provide a channel for people to, uh, to donate. We, we thought about doing a GoFundMe, but there are some complications with doing a GoFundMe in Ecuador and collecting money from the U.S. There's tax implications. There's costs involved that I think that we can just, if we just do this a little differently, we, can, we don't have to use Go, GoFundMe. We can use CrowdFundMe. And so we have, we have a local bank here set up where Irina has her account. And we are going to make arrangements or we're going to provide instructions in the description below on how you can donate to her directly through a transfer from here. If you're banking here, it's easy to transfer money from bank to bank uh, without having to compromise somebody's security. It's a little different in the United States. We thought about using my bank account and provide routing numbers and serial numbers or account numbers. My bank advised against doing that and said, no, that's not a good idea. So we're going, So what we're going to do, as far as those of you that are in North America that uh, want to make a donation to help uh, Irina and Barbara and Natasha, um, I will put in the description below my email address and my phone number. And if you will, please use Zelle or Venmo or any of those other transfer programs, the money will come to me. I will get notified. It'll go into my account um, at the bank and then I will transfer the funds <clears throat> to Ecuador for Irina. It's the best way we can do it for right now. We're not asking for a whole lot, you know. Um, we, just, we just take whatever we can get, okay? So uh, I, I hope that you... Uh, can find it within your heart to, you know, send a couple dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you feel comfortable with. I assure you that uh, the money will get put in the right place. Nobody's going to be making anything on this. We're not collecting fees or anything, so uh, I will pay all the expenses. So. Again, we're trying to help out Mark Bradbury. We're hoping for him. We're, we're monitoring him on a day-by-day -day basis. He's in very critical condition. And we're, 
we're hoping for a miracle here. And in the meantime, we need to feed some mouths, okay? We've got a baby that needs to be fed and needs diapers and and we need, you know, a little emergency fund in case there is an emergency and and somebody has to go to the doctor or whatever. Irina is spending all of her time in Soka with Mark and nobody else can get into seeing but her. So that's it. That's my plea for help, you know, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me directly. You can email me. My email address is in the description. You know, I don't normally put it in there, but I, I will in this case. If you have any questions or anything about this, uh, please feel free to, to write to me. You can also, I provide updates on Mark's Facebook page uh, as often as I get new, new news. I don't provide updates saying, well, he's the same. Uh, so you just have to know that he is the same. Unless something changes, I will just, you know, not. I'll, I'll just update when there's news worth reporting. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for helping. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay? Thank you so much. Ciao, ciao.